Hello Mazenta users, welcome back to another video of the Mazenta 2. This is Khalid from Ecom Clips. Our previous video of Mazenta 2 was an overview of the Mazenta 2 platform. We hope that all of you guys have already watched that video. If you didn't watch it yet, please click on the i button. In our Mazenta overview video, we got some comments from our viewers who told us to create a video about basic backend operations. So today I will show you one of the basic backend operations of Mazenta 2 and that is simple listing. If you are brand new users to the Magento 2 platform, this is the place to be. Before jumping into the process, let me give you an idea about the simple listing and why the simple listing is important. Simple products are primary products with a predetermined set of features that customers cannot sense. The simple products won't have any selectable variations such as color, size, etc. And it will be displayed alone on the storefront. because. It only has one SQ, hence it's sold individually. Therefore, while customer buy simple products, they cannot select any of these options. The most common type of product on Magento 2 is a simple product, which also serves as a building block for other group product types such as bundle products, downloadable products, configurable products, and visual products. For this, Magento 2 users most frequently use simple product in their Magento 2 stores. So, hope you understand why it's important and why you need to create them perfectly. Now, let's dive into the process of simple listing on Magento 2. First, log into your Magento 2 account. Now, click on the catalog menu tab from the left sidebar and then click the products option from the pop up window. It will take you to the product page. Here, you will see the add products button in the top right corner. Now, click on the drop down icon and select the simple product option. After that, you can see the new product page. So, welcome to the product workspace. This is basically the same for all products, but the field may change depending on what attributes you use. You can go forth and fill in all the required attributes of your product. We will try to show you all the necessary fields. First, turn off the enable product option. This will make your product not published on your website. Once completing all the information related to this product, you can enable this option. Now, choose the attribute set default from the drop down and then provide the product name, SQ, price and quantity and keep the stock status in stock. The next section is item weight. This section is not a required attribute but is important. If you don't provide the item weight then your product will not show on the front end. So you must need to provide the item weight. Please select this item has weight from the drop down menu. If you want, you can provide the length, height and width of your product for better customer experience. Now, go to the category section and select your desired category from the drop down option. You can select multiple categories for your item. This category is previously created according to the product. If you want, you can create the category according to your product. For creating the category, go to the catalog section and click on the category option. On the category page, you will find two options, add root category which is also known as the main category and another one is add subcategory. We will prepare a video about how to create categories on Magento 2, so we are skipping this part. The next section is visibility. When you click on the drop down menu of the visibility section, you will see four options, not visible individually. If you select the option, then your product will show randomly on your website. Catalog. If you select catalog, then the product will show any of the catalogs on your website. Search. If you select the search option, then the product will show once you search for the product. Search and catalog. This is the most preferable option because if you select both search and catalog, then the product will show any of the categories and also you will find it easily by search. Now you need to enable the featured product option to show your item in the store. If you do not enable this button, your product will not show on your store. If your product needs a size chart, then you can create the size chart in the paragraph section or you can upload the image by clicking on the image icon. To upload image, when you click on the image icon, a new pop-up window will open. On that page, provide the image source, image description and dimension. Then click on the OK button to upload your size chart image. Now provide the color and size. Still need to go a long way because I am trying to show you guys in detail. 
The reason is, as I mentioned earlier, the simple product is the building block of other group products. So if you create the simple products perfectly, then it will reduce the 50% work of creating the bundle product. Okay, let's get started once again. Content. In the content section, there are two options, description and short description. In the description section, you need to provide detailed information regarding your product because it helps customer make decision to buy your product. Always try to keep your description simple, precise and informative. In the short description, please highlight your product's key feature with benefits because most of the customers are looking for how your product can be benefited for them. Try to use bullet points to highlight your product's key feature. The next section is configuration. This section is for configurable listings. As we are creating a simple listing, so we are skipping this option. We will create another video about configurable item listing on Magento 2. So I am going to the next step. The next section is image and video. For uploading image, please click on the browse to find option or drag and drop your image from your computer. For video, please click on the add video button. It will take you to the new video page. On that page, you need to provide the URL of your video. Please check the instruction. It states that Vimo supported. You can also add YouTube video URL, but first, you need to enter the YouTube API key. Now, provide a title for your video, description, and preview image. The preview image is also known as a thumbnail image. If you want, you can add the thumbnail image. Role. Please select all the options except hide from product page. If you select this option, then your video will not show on the product page. When the video will be uploaded, you just need to click on the save button. In the search engine optimization section, you can see a few options. URL key. You don't need to provide anything here. It will generate automatically. You can see that the meta title, meta keywords, and meta description fields are automatically filled up. Basically, they are coming from the title and description that you provide earlier in the content section. You can also remove them and add a few more keywords to increase the traffic and visibility of your items. These keywords are works as a backend keywords for your store. Please note that for meta description, you can use a maximum of 255 characters. Now, go to the products in website section and click on the checkbox main websites. In the design section, you can see the layout option. Please click on the drop down icon and select your preferred option for how the product will place in the store. Whether it is one column or two column with left or right bar or three columns. Now recheck all the provided information and click on enable product. And hit the save button to complete the process. So this is how you can create a simple product listing on Magento 2. We hope that you understand the whole process and are able to create simple listing on your Magento 2 account. Still, if you are facing issues with creating simple listing, please let us know through the comment box. We would be more than happy to be a helping hand. Please do share this tutorial to help others via social media and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Ecomclips. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Ecomclips. You can also visit our website www.ecomclips.com to know more about Ecomclips. Thanks for watching this video. We will get back to you soon with another video of the Magento 2 platform. So keep your eyes on our YouTube channel. Have a good day.